I think this is the fourth movie by J.C. Chander, and he's probably best known for a movie called A Most Violent Year, which I still haven't seen, but I should. Because I liked Margin Call, and All is Lost is pretty decent too, considering the premise. And now we have this, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I have almost no real complaints about it. I mean, it's not reinventing the wheel, but it doesn't have to. And the intro sequence felt a bit clunky. I liked the action in it, and it did introduce a few characters, and set up an important plot point too. However, it just kind of dropped me into the middle of something, and it didn't really give me any details about what that something really was, or what the actual plot of the movie was going to be about. So yeah, that felt a bit clunky, but I mean, that's pretty much a nitpick. And I guess there was some sketchy CGI here and there too. I mean, it's not terrible and there's not a lot of it, but you notice it. But really, that's also a nitpick. And apart from that, I just liked this thing a lot. It's a well-made, fun, enjoyable movie. But what is it about? Well, I thought it was gonna be some sort of military movie. And it's not really. It's actually about a bunch of ex-military guys. And they're getting the gang back together. For one last job. It's one of those movies. And turns out, well, I guess this is somewhat spoilery. But not really. It's kind of a heist movie. Well, no. It is a heist movie. And if you know me... You know I love myself a good heist movie, so you can factor that bias into the equation. That is absolutely one of the reasons I like this movie so much. But it's also very well shot. It's well paced, it's intense, and it never really drags or loses momentum. And the writing wasn't amazing, but it was still pretty sharp and above average. It's pretty basic, but it works. It's not overly complicated for no reason. And the acting and all the characters, and the dynamics between them, that was pretty good too. I mean, this movie has great casting. These guys seem like old friends for real. And Oscar Isaac is sort of the glue that holds it all together. And by the way, he's becoming one of my favorite actors around, very fast. Every time I see him in a movie now, I'm impressed. He's just so good. Affleck is good in this too. Although his character's arc felt a bit shaky. I guess that's another nitpick. Because I do understand the motivations behind it. It does make sense. It's just the speed at which the character changes that was way too fast. It was almost like someone flipped the switch and boom, now the change occurred. So that sort of annoyed me. But again, the change made sense. So it didn't really bother me that much. It just happened too fast. And the rest of the cast was great too. I don't really think there were any weak links here. Now I also like the moral ambiguity of these characters and the whole story. Because going into this you kinda see them as sort of good guys. Maybe not morally impeccable, but still mostly good. But at the end of it, I mean you can't really argue that these are virtuous, heroic people. They're definitely not. And I'm not even sure I liked these characters by the end of it. In fact, I'm pretty sure I didn't. But I liked that. They are sort of anti-heroes in a way. And you don't see that much in movies these days. Where the lines are this blurred. But here's the thing, I'm not 100% sure if that was intentional. Or if I was actually supposed to like these guys. And think they did the right thing. I'm pretty sure it was intentional. But you never know with these kind of patriotic military type movies. But then again, they did very clearly distance themselves from that from any sort of moral high horse. So I do think it was morally ambiguous on purpose. And yeah, I enjoyed this thing a lot. It's not really groundbreaking or bringing anything new to the table, but it's just really good all around. So would I recommend it? Sure, check it out. Or don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need that mansion deep in the jungle. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.